In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Driver Identification based on wavelet transform using driving. The project explores the rapid advancement in automotive technology that offer drivers enhanced convenience and safety features. These technologies rely on a connected computing platform, enabling the access to external network. However, with this increased connectivity, there is also an elevated risk of potential internal and external threat. The in-vehicle technology becomes vulnerable to security breaches and compromises. The project aims to address these concerns and mitigate the risk associated with growing the exposure of automotive system to cyber security threats. The project aims to outline the procedure for extracting the data from vehicle status information collected during driving. It focuses on utilizing the wavelet analysis to identify the drivers based on their during behavior. The objective is to analyze the unique pattern and characteristic exhibited by the individual drivers. Additionally, the project suggests that the future research should expand on these findings by conducting the cross-analysis that consider the multiple behavior pattern. This approach would provide a comprehensive understanding of the relationship between the driving behavior and the driver identification. These are the requirements that are needed to build this project. Operating system as Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above. Software requirement, Python IDE with version of 3.7. These are the modules that are developed to build this project. The first module is Upload Driving Pattern Dataset. In this module, the driver's driving pattern dataset is uploaded to the application. The dataset contains information about various patterns of the different drivers. In the second module is Data Extraction, Normalization and Wavelet Transform. This module involves extracting the data from the uploaded dataset. The extracted data is then normalized to ensure the consistency and eliminate any bias. After normalization, the raw data is transformed using the wavelet transform technique which helps in capturing and analyzing the pattern within the data. And the third module is feature extraction. By this module, the wavelet transformed data relevant features are extracted. These features are essential characteristics that capture the important information about the driving pattern. The extracted features are then split into the training and testing data set for further analysis. In the fourth module is train the binary and multi-class SVM. In this module, the training data is used to train the binary and the multi-class support vector machine model. This machine learning algorithm is capable of classifying the data into different classes based on the defined boundary. The trained SVM model are then evaluated by applying the test data and calculate their accuracy too. The fifth module is trained binary and multi-class random forest. Similar to the previous module, this module involves training and the multi-class random forest model. This random forest is an ensemble learning algorithm that combines multiple decision trees to make the prediction. The model are trained using the training data and evaluated by applying the testing data to measure their accuracy in the driver classification. The sixth module is Trained Binary and Multi-Class XGBoost. This module focuses on training the binary and multi-class XGBoost model. XGBoost is a gradient boosting algorithm known for its efficiency and effectiveness in classification tasks. The model are trained using the training data and assess it by applying the test data to determine their accuracy in driver classification. And the seventh module is driver classification from the test data. In this module, user can upload the test data containing the driving patterns of the specific driver. The trained classifiers are applied to the test data to classify the and identify the driver name based on their driving pattern. This module helps in accurately recognizing and distinguishing between different drivers. The execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder consisting of different files. The first one is dataset folder consisting of driver data and test data. 
and the second one is the python file and this is run.pat file instead of executing the program in command line interface we use the windows bat file to execute the project now to run the project first we need to open double click on run.bat file This is the graphical user interface with this we are interacting with the program. First we need to click on upload driving pattern data set button. By this we are redirecting to the data set folder and we need to select the driver data from this application and click on open button. And here we get a screen of data set as loaded. And the next step we need to normalize and extract and click transform the wavelet. By this we need to click on data extraction, normalization and wavelet transform button. By this we get a driving pattern wavelet. We can see the wavelet graph generated from the data set and for simplicity I am displaying the graph for only the one driver and in this screen we can see all the wavelet data app and close this wavelet graph and we can see that all the wavelet data in the form of columns and rows consisting of 5 rows and 1093 columns and the driver names found in the data set is of a b f g i <coughs> and click on feature extraction button by this the important features are extracted from the data set and then click on trine binary and multi class svm model button by this the binary S binary and multi class svm model is generated on the pre processed data set giving an accuracy of 80% for the svm and the multi class svm of 91% and then click on trying binary and multi-class random forest algorithm button. By this, the binary random forest model is generated on the pre-processed data set and also the multi-class random forest model is also generated on the pre-processed data set where giving of accuracy of 90 and 93%. And then click on trying binary and multi-class XGBoost algorithm button. By this, the binary XGBoost model is generated by giving an accuracy of 95% and the multi-class XGBoost model is generated by giving an accuracy of 96% and click on driver classification from test data button here it redirected to the dataset folder and we need to select the test data from this dataset folder and click on open button by this we get a screen of this here the information that is between the square bracket or of the test record and the classified as of driver G. For this test record, it classified as of driver B. In this way, we can identify the driver by using the wavelet transform. In conclusion, the project proposed a method of driver identification based on wavelet transform for driving behavior analysis. We conducted data pre-processing including the feature normalization, feature extraction and feature vector construction to reduce the noise and eliminate the incomplete data. Then we performed and evaluated the driver identification using the three different machine learning algorithm based on the wavelet transform. This process was performed by changing the length of the time window of data for the classification analysis. The results showed that the proposed method can effectively identify the driver based on the driving behavior. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.